Hello everyone. So my dear friend, in this particular session, we are going to discuss how to start your gate preparation. Everybody knows the benefit of the writing the gate exam. If you want to go into the IITs for the masters, you should have a valid gate score, or we can say that a good rank into the gate. If you want to go into the high paying jobs into the PSUs like NTPC, ONGC, PGCL that is called Bar, uh, uh, PGCL Power Grid Corporation Limited, right? Uh, BEL, BHEL. So there are lots of Maharatna, Mini Ratna, Noratna. If you want to go into those particular companies into the PSUs, then also you should have a valid GATE score. So we already know that the GATE is the most important and prominent exam, my dear friend, by which you will get a lots of things. Not only for the IITs into the or masters for the in the IITs or NITs or job into the PSU. Apart from this, if you want to do uh, post graduation in the NITI Mumbai or if you want to do the fellowship management program in IIM, then also the valid gate score is basically required. Apart from this, my dear friend, two international organization or international institute also, which are basically taking the admission through the gate, just like in National University of Singapore. Right, like that, there is a lots of university of university we can expect or uh, are there in the uh, uh, Germany and in the Singapore they are taking the admission through the gate. So we are all are basically aware about the benefit of the gate. But now the question arises, sir, how we have to start the preparation? Whether I am in first year or second year or third year, so we can say that there are two types of the question. Generally, the student are asking whenever I will take the seminar, right? So the first question the student asking is, sir. I am in first year, whether I have to start my preparation right now or I have to start the preparation from the second year. So my dear friend, I want to suggest you, if you are from the CS background or even if you are from the electrical, electronics or mechanical and if, you, if your dream is to go into the IITs for the post graduation, right, you have to start the preparation as soon as possible, even in the first year also. Why? Because there are the few subjects which is common into the gate, which is already into the first year, just like an aptitude or we can say that the engineering mathematics. In the gate syllabus also the engineering mathematics are there and in your university also in the first semester the maths mathematics are there. So if you will do the one subject that is mathematics in very smooth manner or in very much of the detail, it means already you are preparing for the gate examination. So hope you guys are going to understand it. But the everything, whatever the question the students are asking ki how to start the gate preparation, one by one each and everything we are going to discuss in this class my dear friend. So first you have to remember the one thing, the time is the most precious thing. Lots of people are basically want to crack the gate exam, but even though they are basically delaying the preparation. Suppose if they are in the second year, they are thinking, okay, I have to write the gate exam into the third year. So I will start the preparation into third year. If you'll go into the third year, they will think, okay, what should I will write uh, in the third year? I will write the exam into the final year. They have to wait or they are basically prepare, starting their preparation into the, or they will start their preparation into the final year. So they are delaying their preparation. So my dear friend, always try to understand the time is the key to the success. If you want to crack that gate exam, you have to start your preparation as soon as possible, right? Because, because time is going on, my dear friend, right? Okay. So there are the few points you have to remember the, and one by one we are going to discuss each and every points by different. The first one is called know your syllabus. Whenever you want to start your preparation, whenever I know your syllabus, after that about the exam pattern. Third one, the study plan and the fourth one is called uh, the preparation early. Why we, are, we have to start the preparation early, why I am forcing you to start your preparation as soon as possible. So each and every point we are going to discuss in very much of detail. Let me discuss about the first point that is called know the syllabus. Suppose if you want to go into the war, if you want to go into the war, so there are lots of weapons are basically there. And we cannot directly pick up the one weapon and directly we can go into the war and then we'll, we'll understand how, how we are going to operate those particular weapons. No. First you have to practice those particular weapons. First you have to understand those particular weapons. First you have to be a familiar with those particular weapons. Then only very friendly or we can say that very uh, smoothly you are able to use those particular weapons into the war. The same thing has happened. Suppose if you want to prepare for the gate, my dear friend, first you have to understand the syllabus of the gate exam. So whether you are from the computer science background or IT background or if you are from the uh, electronics or electrical or mechanical or civil, right, XC, whatever your branch, right, biotechnology, first you have to understand the exam uh, syllabus. So how we are going to understand and how, where we can find out those, those particular syllabus? My dear friend, you have to go into the official website and from there only you have to download the syllabus right into the form of the PDF, right? After that, what actually I'm suggesting you, 
just take the print out of those particular print, uh, uh, syllabus and stuck those particular or uh, just paste those particular uh, syllabus in your wall where you are studying only actually and after that you have to follow uh, one by one subject suppose you have to start the preparation by the subject one subject two subject three right in the subject one how what, what should be the uh, topic right how much the depth on those particular subject we have to move so everything you have to understand so again i am just repeating first of all you have to understand the syllabus of the particular uh, exam my dear friend gate exam right or uh, for your particular background or suppose you are from the mechanical so 70 or for the every uh, every exam or every uh, uh, you can say that uh, in the branch the 72 percent question are asking from the technical let me write it also 72 percent means 72 marks question of tech 15 from the aptitude and 13 from the maths that is already fixed right so these two portion first you have to start your preparation according to me either you can go for the technical also but suppose you are in the first year right or in the second year or you are in the beginning stage you can start with the aptitude or mathematics because you can love those particular preparation if you will start with the aptitude and mathematics right because in aptitude and mathematics both are basically very easy subject so if you if you uh, read those particular subject after that if you will solve the previous year question very easily you are able to solve it and if you will solve the question very easily then your confidence is automatically is going to be into the high direction or into the upward and that is basically required into the preparation my dear friend so first you have to understand the syllabus second one is called exam pattern every exam having the some pattern you have to understand those things also for the gate if you want to understand my dear friend there are three type of question we can say that the one is called mcq mcq means there are four options out of the four options only one options is correct you have to choose those particular answer one thing more if you'll choose the wrong answer then negative marking is also happened second one is called msq multiple select question there are four options out of the four options maybe one option is correct maybe two options are correct maybe three options are correct maybe all the options are correct you have to select all the op correct options then only you will get the full marks otherwise you will zero marks is basically given to you third nat numerical answer type in the numerical answer type my dear friend there is the one questions are there or one questions is there you have to read the question solve the question and after that whatever the answer you are getting you have to write the answer by the keyboard that is called nat in these two questions there is no negative marking only the negative marking is associated with the mcq total 65 question they will ask duration is 3 hours and total marks will be nothing it is just a 100 marks under marks paper. what should be the cutoff everything will depends upon the level of the paper and the how many students are lots of parameter are there to find out those things right but you have to understand 65 questions are there either the question of one marks or two marks only three hours duration will be given and hundred marks three hours duration and hundred marks maximum marks will be hundred this is a pattern exam pattern one thing more you have to understand in the exam pattern every exam required some or some, every exam having the some demands you have to understand those particular demands for example in the semester what they are basically required in the semester they are basically given giving the one questions and you have to write the question very smooth manner in the pointers and write in the form of the points in the form of the diagrams so that it will look beautiful if you are writing the answer in correct or in the beautiful manner in presentable then you will get the uh, maximum marks otherwise the marks will be detected but into the gate exam they required something else in the gate exam my dear friend they required your aptitude level you should know how to solve the questions so the problem solving skill is basically required for the gate exam and how you are going to develop the problem solving skill first you have to focus on the concept of the every question so first after the syllabus you have after the understanding the exam pattern you have to do one thing right you have to understand understand one thing you have to make your own study plan before going to the detail into the syllabus or how we are going to study the subject let me discuss about the study plan you should have a solid study plan sir why the solid study plan is required because we are the engineers someday we will feel very motivated and we will study for the 12 hours for the 14 hours for the 15 hours because we are very very motivated and somehow suppose anybody is going to demotivate you you are not going to study for the three or four hours or four days and by this attitude we are not able to crack the gate exam my dear friend if you want to crack the gate exam you should 
बी अ पंचुअल एज वेल एट यू शुड बी अ कंसिस्टेंस तो यू हैव टू मेक अ स्टडी प्लान सपोज ऑन द डेली बेसिस यू हैव टू डिवोट टू टू थ्री आवर्स इफ यू आर फ्रॉम द सेकेंड ईयर वन एंड हाफ आवर इफ यू आर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर राइट एंड थ्री टू फोर आर इफ यू आर इन थर्ड ईयर फोर टू एट आवर्स इफ यू आर इन फाइनल ईयर इवन इफ यू आर द ड्रॉप आउट और ड्रॉपर स्टूडेंट राइट मीन्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द बी टेक एंड नाउ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द गेट यू हैव टू अगेन यू हैव टू डिवोट एज मच टाइम एज पॉसिबल राइट ओके so a study plan in the study plan how we are going to do it you have to make the study plan on the basis or we can say that on the four types of the basis the first yearly plan how we are going to complete the syllabus suppose exam is going to be happen into the month of fab right first week of fab or second week of fab you have to complete the syllabus till october or november after that you have to attempt the test series so you have to make a study plan ki suppose subject a subject b subject a right we are going to start start date end date completion date right subject b start date and completion date subject c start date and completion date like that you have to make the study plan after that this yearly study plan we have to break into the monthly study plan because if you look at into the yearly plan it will it will sometime if you feel oh my god 365 days we have to follow this so sometime feel will very demotivated so we have to convert the yearly plan into the monthly plan because we have to focus on the month wise again somehow you have to convert the monthly plan into the weekly plan and that weekly plan you have to convert into the day wise plan so always you have to focus on the day wise plan and day wise plan will combine together in the seven days it will become the weekly plan that weekly plan is converted into the monthly plan that monthly plan is converted into the yearly plan so my dear friend your solid study plan should be required so that you can complete the syllabus in very smooth manner now maybe the people will think sir when we have to start the preparation or when uh, uh, when i will study whether i will study into the night or will study into the early morning my dear friend it does not make any difference right into the gate preparation if you have a interest to study into the night you have to study into the night only the one thing is required you have to study that is basically required okay so solid plan is basically required here just after that my dear friend the preparation early why i am saying because we are always delaying our preparation so you have to start the preparation as soon as possible suppose into the second year you are starting the preparation or the first year you are starting the preparation means means whenever you will come into the third year the every subject you have revised from 3 to 4 times and if you revise the subject 3 to 4 times it means the every subject already comes in your fingertips you are able to solve each and every question of those particular things apart from this my dear friend one thing more i want to tell you you have to read the concepts right after the concept you have to solve the previous year question already available into the market of the previous year questions right after that some new questions also you have to solve after that some books solved example at least at least solved example you have to solve so my dear friend concept previous year question new question and some books solved example and after the concept you have to make the plan for the revision also because revision is the key of the success if you not revise the subject you are going to forget it right you are you are not able to recall it so my dear friend the revision is also essentially required apart from the re revision one thing more is required that is called test series test series so you have to write the mocks you have to first read the subject you have to solve the previous year questions just after that my dear friend completion of the one subject you have to you have to write the mock for those particular test and then by the mock you can analyze ki whether you are getting the good marks or bad marks and suppose you are getting the bad or you are not getting the good marks na then you have to understand why you are not getting the good marks in which topic you have not solved the question where you have done the silly mistake so each and everything you have to understand because the mock we are just writing the mock to understand our preparation strategy or to understand uh, whether we have a good command on the subject or we are lagging into the some of the areas so this is for the learnings and for the learnings always you have to write the test series for the mocks that is why we have given this and one thing more my dear friend apart from this one thing more you have to do you have to collect all the study materials which is required to study the gate or to crack the gate exam for example suppose you are from the mechanical or from the civil or electrical electronics 
you have to understand the syllabus after the syllabus each and every books are basically required so either you can download the pdf or you can download the notes or you can take the help from the mentors right so you can take the help and just after that my dear friend one by one subject you have to follow do not start your preparation right along with the four subject together the a b c d four subjects are there so in the morning a subject in the day b subject in the evening c subject in the no either you can start the preparation with the one subject or you can start the preparation with the two subject mathology one in the morning and one in the night right and maths and aptitude maybe you can start into the uh, into the weekend if you want to start with the technical subject but directly if you want to start with the non technical that is maths and aptitude do not go into the weekend first you have to complete the maths and aptitude because maths 13 aptitude 15 so total 28 marks you will get from the non technical also and 28 is also very good weightage for the uh, uh, for the gate exam so my dear friend hope you have understood how we are going to start the gate preparation so till that thank you very much all the very best and whatever you have guys having the queries you can write into the comment box i will resolve those queries as soon as possible till that thank you very much all the very best jai hind